Well, I've been a high school principal for a long time uh, in the United States, and we've always had this passion for education, but also equity in education, too, where all students have an opportunity to have a great education without expense and, and money being part of that. So uh, coming to Cambodia and seeing the quality of education here in the school, we see some good, we see some things that need to be improved, but we believe that if we could provide more equity in a school that has high achievement, high expectations, high earnings, similar to all private schools, but really provide more opportunities for even students that can't afford it. So this idea about creating a high school that would have the same level of quality that a private school here, but also offer it some way and an opportunity for all students to have it would be great. I think it's important to give uh, Cambodian students an opportunity to have a curriculum that will enable them to go out and study at universities around the world. And from the public schools today in Cambodia, there is no such opportunity. By starting this school, we hope to make it possible for them to have a, an education that will make it possible for them to study abroad and come back and help building the country afterwards. So we've been fortunate to meet with Chip Da and, and feel like he's also kind of under the same idea about, about, about increasing the IQ school, uh, international school here, into including a high school that is similar to what we both believe in. Um, two days ago, we talked uh, with Stefan and David, our plan to uh, make it happen here. Um, now we have only uh, uh, kindergarten and primary school and middle high school. But David and Stefan want to take care of and continue another high school here. If possible, we can make it happen in 2016, October. It's very important now because uh, some parents, they want to, uh, to have a good school and they want to meet the international requirement of the education, but they cannot find a school. So sometimes they have to travel a very long way to uh, Phnom Penh or to another country. So that's why uh, if we have the school here, it's easy for them that they don't need to go very far from their house and they can stay here and they can come to school here in Shimbir and they don't pay a lot. Approximately maybe three to four thousand a year um, by uh, that they can come to, to uh, private school. Dollars. Uh, dollar, yeah. And uh, that is possible for parents to pay here in Cambodia? Um, I think majority is impossible. Uh, around 20% that we expect that they can uh, uh, afford the school, maybe lower 20% of that. So, but if they have subsidy from the other country or from the other people or company, yes, it can go. Well, I don't want it to be just for privileged students. I feel like one of our tasks will be to find uh, financial sources that can help support not the wealthy students, the students that want to come to a school, work hard, and achieve high ideals but not based on how much money they have. So we, it's up to us, inherit on us, to find financial resources to support those students. And we think we can. Oh. We think we can in the United States. I know some resources. I feel like there's some places that might support an idea like this. But of course, we're just exploring this idea. But it's something that we feel like has a great opportunity to actually become a reality.